Well, you knew that juicy piece of ribeye you ate at the barbecue on Sunday wasn't the healthiest thing you could eat, but you probably didn't know it could raise the risk of contracting type 2 diabetes. Jennifer corbett Doran joins us from Washington with news of a comprehensive study showing new potential risks in the consumption of red meat. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning. So Jennifer, tell us what these researchers from the National University of Singapore found. Well, what they found is um, this study um, looked at uh, three previously done studies, three large studies that involved mostly doctors and nurses. And what's new about this study is that this study tracked changes in red meat consumption over time. Prior studies have looked at red meat consumption and linked it to an increased risk of type 2 diabetes, but this one looked at um, changes in consumption over a four-year period, and then they tracked um, whether people develop type 2 diabetes in a subsequent four-year period. And what they found is that um, people who increased their red meat consumption over four years um, had an increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Um, and, and not everyone, though, agrees that it's red meat per se, right? There's some suggest that it could be other factors at play. Well, it's not so much that. One doctor I talked to said that it's not so much the red meat itself, that really is the type of fat in the meat. So as you mentioned at the beginning of the piece, mm. ribeye. Ribeye has a lot of saturated fat in it, but there are other cuts of red meat that people can eat that are considered lean cuts. Mm. Um, something I saw yesterday on the American Diabetes Association website was look for the word loin in your cuts of meat, like mm. sirloin or pork loin, that those are a leaner cut of meat. So it's not that you necessarily have to give up all meat, it's just try to look for leaner cuts. Now, um, in your piece as well, you, you get into the fact that type 2 diabetes is, is really surging as a, as a problem disease now. Um, tell us the latest on that and, and what concerns people have, doctors have, for the future of this sort of epidemic. Exactly. I mean, as you said, type 2 diabetes is surging. It's a disease that's linked to, you know, to older age, to obesity, and there's certainly, you know, an obesity epidemic in this country. So. Um, you know, so it's something that it's just increasing over time and unfortunately it doesn't look like there's a good news on the horizon in terms of reversing the trend. So, I mean, is, is, it, is it simply just associated with obesity? People see that and the two things linked? Um, or are there other factors that uh, people contribute to this? Um, well, a lot of it, well, not exercising, um, mm -hmm. just sort of the sedentary lifestyles. And again, this is type 2 diabetes. This is right. distinct from a different form of the disease, which is type 1, that's usually diagnosed in childhood, and that's an autoimmune disease. So there are two different types of diabetes. All right, Jennifer, thank you very much for your time.